Hello, hello, hello. What's going on? Just testing, testing to see what am I actually recording. Thank you. Hello, this is Dr. Jeffries. In this video, we'll be learning about Python dictionaries and how we can work with them. This allows us to work with key value pairs. When I say we'll be working with key value pairs, these are two linked values where the key is a unique identifier where we can find our data and the value is that data. So we can actually think of it almost like a real physical dictionary where we look up definitions. So in that example, each word that we look up will be the key and the definition of that word will be the value. So let's go ahead and look at some examples and how we want to represent um, dictionary. Go ahead and take a look at some examples. So in order to define a, uh, a dictionary, you just basically use these curly brackets and that defines our dictionary. Right now that's just an empty, an empty dictionary, right? But uh, so in order to put some some variables in there, uh, say a key of name, separate that by a colon, and then you know we can go in there and say uh, John. Say we want to go put another key in, maybe age, age colon. Uh, let's see. Age colon, you know, 24. Let's go 18. Separate the by another comma. I say class, uh, class. Mm, say what? Uh, cryptography. Okay. So this is our definition, uh, our, our dictionary that we've just defined. Adding, um, let's print out our student. And as you can see, we've got the name John, age 18, class cryptography. All right. <clears throat> so if we save that and run it, we can see that it prints out all of our keys. And let's just get a value of one key so we can add square brackets after our dictionary name and specify the key that we want to access. We can also print anything else that we want from that dictionary. Putting in the other key brackets, let's say age. Run that. Okay. Uh, say we wanted to um, maybe add another uh, item to our dictionary. We would simply just say student. And if we want to add that, say maybe a bracket. Let's see class. Uh, what else can we add here? Let's say if we wanted to uh, see maybe uh, what block it. Okay, so then if we can do a print student again. You see that we block C has been added to our dictionary. Um, say I wanted to overwrite something. So say I wanted to change that name. Student name equals uh, Susan. Okay. And boom. Overwriting that again. We now look at our dictionary again. We'll see that the name John has been overwritten by the name Susan. Just certain things. So here we're printing the entire dictionary. But I can also just print, say, I just wanted to print the name. 
put that in brackets within there and then that prints out the name. So just, just that particular key uh, in the dictionary itself. Now, if you try to print something that does not exist, we will get an error. So let's say I said print student uh, Greg. Okay, well, Greg does not exist in our dictionary. So we'll get this traceback error of, of Greg. One other thing to note here is that the values can be any type, but the keys can only be certain types. And there are different types we can use for that, but most commonly the keys are strings or numbers. So in Python, you can even mix the different types of keys. So let's say we want to add a new key, um, 10, with the value of 102. So let's go in and write our brackets here. So let's say student 10 equals uh, 100. Okay, so then if we print student again, see that we'll have that 100 is in there. So that kind of comes in handy if you want to say start adding actual say I said student one equals the actual word one right student two two equals the word two Something we may want to do, adding to our dictionary itself. Okay, so now if we go do a little print, print student. See, we've got one and we've got two. So many things you can do uh, with dictionaries with respect to the, the different types of keys and values. Going back to uh, this here where we printed out, we tried to find an actual uh, key that was not in the dictionary and we got a, an error value because it didn't exist. Well, we may not always want to throw an error. Uh, we may just want to return none or default value. So to do that, we can use the dictionary's get method. So instead of accessing this key, like we tried to do here, we can use the get method and get the name. And so if that key already exists, so let's just try to go ahead and get something that we know does exist. So let's see, let's say get uh, name, then that'll return Susan. But let's say, we go and try to get something that we know does not exist, what that will return, um, let's say, let's go get, um, so if I go try and get that value that doesn't exist, then that method returns an error, returns none instead of an error. We can also specify default value for keys that don't exist. So we can just pass that default value as a second argument to the method. So if we put a comma here and a string, let's see here what we've got. If I go here and say print student dot get Greg. And let's just say I want to return a value of, let's see, let's say not found. 
So now when we run that cell, then the method returns not found. So that's a good way to give some more meaning to uh, to our error type of messages. Some other operations that we can uh, do on dictionaries. Let's re retype our dictionary here so we know what we have. Say we wanted to um, delete an item, delete a key. So, so we go delete uh, student uh, say name. All right. If we print that student, that dictionary again, so you see that name and its associated value are no longer in the dictionary. Okay, uh, say we want to get the length of a dictionary, so if we just go length of the dictionary here, boom, we get six. Why six? Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six items in the dictionary. All right. So say we want to see if an item is in the dictionary. So the way we would do that is, so we type in Susan and student. So we want to know is is Susan in the dictionary student? No, because remember we had taken Susan out of there. Well, let's see. Let's go check for something that's actually in there. So let's go uh, cryptography. Cryptography and student. That should return a true. No. Uh, the reason why that's false is cryptography is in the dictionary. However, cryptography is a value. When we check membership, it only looks for keys. So if I wanted to see membership, I would have to say class, right? Since class is the key. Student, and that should give us return us a value of true because that indeed is in the dictionary student. And say you want to delete all the items from the dictionary, so we would just use the clear method. Ran, and that should clear it out. Let's do a print student, see what we get here. Nothing, it's the empty, an empty dictionary. And if we just wanted to get rid of that dictionary altogether, then we would just say delete student. And now we should definitely get an error message because there is no longer a dictionary by the name of student. Yep, not defined. So there's a few things about dictionaries that uh, we'll be utilizing and going forward in the course. Uh, but for now, <clears throat> uh, dictionaries are going to be very useful where we can go in look at our key value pairs of things that we may want to utilize uh, in our cryptography um, endeavors. That's it for now. Uh, we will uh, talk to you soon.